Hi guys and welcome again to another review on my web channel. This is a review for episodes 3 and 4 of Gotham. I couldn't be, I couldn't post a Gotham video last week. I had too much to do and I was really poorly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. So episodes 3 and 4 were called Balloon Man uh, and Arkham. And Balloon Man explored um, a lot of, um, made it, created a new, a new villain who killed um, important figures with weather balloons, he tied them and, and floated into the sky until obviously the balloon burst and they fall to the death. Um, and Penguin came back to Arkham, uh, not to Arkham, but came back to Gotham City in this episode and within minutes killed three people. So he's getting a very sort of, uh, certainly very happy to kill people, um, which is very sort of thingy. The one thing I have found out recently, and it's quite annoyed me, because I've always been sort of a fan of but um yeah I, I i thought they were choosing the american accent for penguin for a reason but the guy is actually american and i don't know like i see also copperpot is very british and yeah um but then again his mother in the last episode into episode two she called pronounce it Kappelput, which is russian so i don't know they just sort of got they just got they just got in with anything i think um we saw some Darker, we saw a darker side to Fish Mooney in this episode, um, to the point where, you know, she's she's getting quite powerful now. She's quite a powerful figure. Certainly in episode four, she was hiring singers, and she was like, "If you want the job to be my right hand man, you've got to seduce me. Pretend I'm a man, seduce me." Um, and they, she made them the two of them fight for the literally fight for the position. And then she was just sat there, like, patching her eyes, saying, oh, dear, dear, there we go, there we go, see. It's just, just mean, just mean. My favourite scene from episode three was the scene in the in the alleyway where uh, Selena Kyle takes Detective Gordon to the alleyway where the Waynes were killed. She said she'd witnessed it. She said she threw a wallet into the sewers. And um, Detective Gordon goes down into the sewers, but handcuffs Selena Kyle to the railings, um, where she was uh, standing when the Waynes were murdered and he goes into the sewers and finds the wallet so, she, so he believes the story and then the next thing we see we just see Selena Kyle just over up above the sewer just where he is and, it, and she's like oh, hello detective she just freed herself from the handcuffs I just thought that scene was great because I thought oh, it was very Catwoman like that was very Catwoman like um, someone who else is, is dead impressing me in regards to acting um, the part is the young Bruce Wayne I think he could potentially be my favourite character of the series. Um, in episode three, we saw him a bit more. Um, we saw him being a kid. We saw him enjoying himself more. He had this like sword fight with with Alfred, um, which he, you know, we saw him actually enjoying himself, which is something which he needs because he's just still a kid. He's still a kid at the end of the day. I mean, I know he's been through a lot and he's trying to find out the people who killed his parents and stuff, but he's still a kid at the end of the day. And then in episode 4 he goes back into detective mode and is like, can I have reports on all the Arkham files and blah blah blah, like a proper detective. He, he does say in episode 3, oh, I, I, I want to be a detective. It's, well, it's, it's sort of hinted at, he doesn't really say it, it's sort of hinted at. We found out a bit more about uh, Barbara Keane and Montoya's past. Um, we find out that she's um, that Barbara's bisexual and she's been in a relationship with Montoya, which I thought that's what it was going to be. Um, but yeah, they even share an on-screen kiss, which was, um, I don't know, neither here nor there. Um, Bullock's not really doing anything for me, he's kind of just mm, there all the time. Not appealing to me in the slightest. But we are introduced to a new mob leader, a rival one, I forget his name. But he talks to Oswald in the job, he gets a job at a restaurant and he talks to him there and um, he says you're going to go far kid, you're going to go far and that, that really made him happy um, and then in the next episode that same guy promotes Oswald to restaurant manager says you shouldn't be washing dishes, you're too, you're too good for that which you can tell that that's what he wanted to hear, it's, it's absolutely what he wanted to hear episode Four's main villain, this guy um, with this weird spike thing, 
that couldn't shoot people in the eye and stab people in the head. Um, yeah, he, he's not he's not an actual Batman villain. Uh, I, I think that's what they're going with, though. They're trying to make it more like an actual detective thing, um, as opposed to introducing us all to having a different villain each week. A bit like the, the Flash is doing the opposite, where it's having an enemy of the Flash is every week. Um, or, you know, every couple of episodes or something. Whereas we're just getting a different sort of, just a criminal, just a normal criminal. But episode four, the, we saw the plans for Arkham City. Um, so Arkham is going to be involved in the series in some form or another later, which means we might get a hint at seeing Hugo Strange, which I'm hoping for because Arkham City is an amazing game. And if they sort of did something like that, that would be awesome. We even got to see the exterior of the shut down Arkham Asylum. That's where the guy killed one of his victims. It set a bin on fire with the guy in the bin. Just and and then she pulled out of the shop pulled out and we could just see Arkham Asylum. And I thought, oh yeah, Arkham Asylum, yeah. Another really awesome game. But yeah, um they've just announced another cast member for the um for the show actually. Um they've not started filming these episodes for it yet, but they've just announced uh, Nicholas de Gosta. I think that's how you pronounce it. From he, he was in series two of Heroes. He's playing a young Harvey Dent, which means in either the end of this series or in series two, if they do a series two, if it's picked up for another series, which fingers crossed it will be because it's an amazing show, that um, we'll get to see a young Two-Face, which would be wicked. Him and Riddler are my favourite Batman villains. And, and no, not, not from the one you think, um, although Jim Carrey is a great Riddler. We got to see, we did, speaking of Riddler, we did get to see a little bit more of the Riddler, um, sort of helping with the forensic science stuff, helping the police force, which, you know, was sort of what is needed um, from his character at the stand. I like that they've, they've taken it, they, you know, they've made him sort of a genius anyway, and the, the whole Riddle, Riddle, Riddle stuff probably going to come later, although we did get a hint of it in the first episode. Someone who we haven't seen in a while is Pepper, um, but I'm sure... We'll see her again at some point. So that's about it for my review this week, guys. Um, I'll be back next week for another Gotham review. But please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And um, I'm be filming my Flash video today as well, so that'll be up when I I'll put them up together. I'll put all I'll put all three videos up on the same day. Uh, which will probably be tomorrow. And then next week I'm going to get on top of these videos. I've, got, I've, you know, I've had to juggle stuff around um, this week. But next week I'll definitely have sort of Doctor Who on a certain day. And then Gotham on a certain day. And Flash on a certain day. Just to spam them out the week. Instead of having them just sort of all posted on the same day. But no. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time. Ciao.